hello so last time we looked at this question right and we see, saw a method uh, to solve this kind of problem uh, to find the nodes to find the independency of the node in a bayesian network so continue continuing this uh, bayesian network we have the following question now so we have the associated cpd that means the conditional probability density of uh, these nodes right so we will have the table here you see th this 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 belongs to the difficulty so again it's a d0 d is equal to 0 so that would means that difficulty is equal to 0 or difficulty is equal to 1 so that is that is the this table and for each node we will have the uh, <clears throat> uh, a table that we call the CPD that is the conditional probability distribution right similar to that we have the for the intelligence and since intelligence and this great uh, this uh, uh, difficulty have no parent that is why we have this kind of probability without any condition and this great and this uh, great and SAT and all these have the conditional probability table because all of them have the parent now what we have to find is the probability that i1 d0 g2 s1 and l0 so how we can find the probability of l i1 uh, d0 so we, the basic point the point is that too, we have to find the joint probability of this so g2 and s1 and l0 so that will be equal to the probability of this intelligence and it has no parent right intelligence has no parent so there would be no dip, uh, condition on that and uh, difficulty that would be equal to probability of d0 into probability of this uh, grade so you see that grade has the two parent that is difficulty and intelligence so these two events have occurred under this condition that is i0 sorry i1 and d0 what is the probability of g2 right into probability again this s s that is sat it has the parent intelligence so here intelligence has occurred occurred so that is i1 then what will be the probability of this s1 again we have this uh, l0 uh, so this uh, later have also the parent that is grade so what's the probability of grade uh, that g2 has occurred right grade given uh, given g2 has occurred what will the probability of this l0 right now you will look these value from your uh, this uh, CPD so this probability of I1 is this one that is 0 0.3 into D0 is 0 0.6 into probability of G2 given I1 D0 so I1 D0 G2 that is 0 0.08 into probability of this I1 given s1 so i1 given s1 that will be 0 0.8 into probability of l0 given g2 so l0 given g2 that is 0 0.4 now do the multiplication you will get your answer let me let me do that so that is 0 0.3 into 0 0.6 into 0 0.08 into 0 point eight into zero point four so we are getting zero point zero six zero point zero zero four six zero eight so this option a is the correct okay now let's look at this uh, the second question right so second question no not that this third one right and we have to find that again uh, using that 
the same Bayesian network and with the same uh, CPD compute the probability of this assignment now this is important irrespective of the difficulties right so what does it mean that irrespective so difficulties right difficulty is there right okay let's let's find out then you will uh, understand that what is what does it mean that irrespective of the difficulties of the course so we have to find this assignment that is probability that i1 comma we have to find this joint probability that g1 comma s1 comma l1 right so we can write this as, as a joint probability that will be probability this i1 and this intelligence has no parent right and into probability of this g1 right this, but this grade has the parent and, and the parent of this grade is uh, difficulty and intelligence right and we have given the, in the question that irrespective of the difficulties so since this uh, grade has parent that is the difficulty right and irrespective of the uh, uh, difficulty of the courses that means uh, here we will have to take the uh, uh, total probability of this of the happening of this g1 under the condition of d is equals to 0 and d is equals to 1 so g1 can happen under uh, d is equals to 0 or g1 can happen with d is equals to 1 right so that is what it means that irrespective of the difficulties of the courses right if it is zero difficult that means if it is difficult find this conditional probability g1 because g1 is the child of this d1 right even if it is difficult course then give me this g1 even if, if it is so that total probability you will have to find and this total probability assignment how we will do that that uh, uh, d0 has happened right into uh, g1 will happen under this condition d0 right plus we will have let me write here uh, d1 ha uh, has happened into probability that d1 has happened given uh, d1 has happened uh, give me the probability of this g1 so this is the top total probability of this g1 now now we can write this probability that is probability of s1 and s1 is the child of intelligence so, so here we will have i1 right so this s1 is the probability of intelligence uh, um, sorry parent of the intelligence now for l1 that is the letters is the uh, child of this g1 let is the child of this uh, grade right so and this has already happened so under this condition what will the probability of this l1 this is how you can think now look at the table so first is i0 so i0 is uh, sorry i1 so i1 is 0 0.3 so i1 is 0 0.3 we can write 0 0.3 into probability of this d0 so d0 is 0 0.6 into probability of this g d0 given probability of g1 given d0 so probability of where we can find this probability of g1 given d0 okay so one more point that uh, this g1 has the two parents right that grade has the two parents so what we are missing here is this uh, i1 right this i1 so here we will have i1 also right now now we, we i hope you get it get the point because this has happened right and this and this difficulty doesn't matter or whatever you will take d is equal to 0 or d is equal to 1 
तो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द कंडीस टोटल प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस जी वन अंडर द हैपनिंग ऑफ देयर पेरेंट्स सो देयर पेरेंट्स इज इंटेलिजेंस एंड इन क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन दैट आई वन हैज हैपेंड आई वन हैज हैपेंड नाउ एंड डी जीरो वी आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट सो दैट इज वाई वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द टोटल प्रोबेबिलिटी बाई कंसिडरिंग द ऑल द कंडीशन ऑफ दिस डी डी जीरो राइट सो दिस वन दिस वन दैट डी जीरो आई वन डी जीरो आई वन दिस इज वन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस जी वन सो दैट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एंड प्लस डी डी वन राइट सो डी वन इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर डी वन राइट जीरो पॉइंट फोर यस एन टू डी वन आई वन सो डी वन आई वन वट वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट जी वन सो दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव दैट दिस वन एन टू नाउ दिस प्रॉबिलिटी दैट आई वन probability of s1 given i1 so i1 s1 that will be 0.8 into g1 <coughs> i1 given g1 uh, sorry l1 given g1 so l1 given g1 so that will be 0.9 now what you have to do you have to calculate this so that 0.6 into 0.9 that will be 0.54 and plus we will have 0. टू जीरो राइट सो दैट विल गिव यू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फोर नाउ यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई विथ जीरो पॉइंट थ्री दैट विल गिव यू नाउ जीरो पॉइंट एट नाउ जीरो पॉइंट नाइन ओके लेट मी डू दैट वन मोर टाइम सो बिकॉज आई प्रेस्ड जीरो बट जीरो सो दैट So zero point nine, that will be zero point five four plus zero point two zero, that will be zero point seven four into zero point eight into zero point nine into zero point three. Oh, so what we find that it will be zero point one five nine eight. So That is approximately zero point one six, right? I hope I have not made any calculation mistakes. So the answer for this is A. Okay. So this is based on the Gibbs distribution. So let's skip that. Which of the following graphical model? captures the naive base assumption uh, where c represents the class label and uh, fi are the features so under the naive base conditional uh, independence assumption what we assume uh, what we assume that the features are conditionally independent uh, given the class right so the point is that these features will be independent under this given condition or under this given class right and if you see that the here arrow right so the a is the correct and consider the following graphical model and identify which of the pairs of random uh, variable are independent mm, you see that all these uh the these are not the uh directed right these are all undirected there is no arrow right that means you will not find any kind of independent here right so none of this uh what is the value of obtained on marginalizing all the variable in a graphical model so marginal probability right if you if you uh, uh let suppose from the table if you find the marginal probability 
what is the value obtained on the marginalizing all the variable in a graphical model so that uh, that would be equal to one i think so that c is the correct one and this gives a uh, distribution that we will see uh, i think that is not even in the syllabus so i i am not sure about that but you can go through it from my side i am not sure about that so you can go through that okay that is all uh, from this thank you